You don't have to do complicated stuff with AI to make it extremely useful. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a ChatGPT to sort basic information that's going to save you tons of time. There's a lot of fun, complicated things you could do with AI, but there's also a lot of simple things that will help you save minutes, if not hours every single day on basic tasks that you're doing to complete your admin work. One of those things is just sorting information. Say you have a spreadsheet that has a bunch of data. You don't know how to make the formula for the for Excel or Google Sheets, and you need to sort it the way you want it, or you need to replace text with some other text, just basic sorting stuff. And you're having to go through line by line and change things or figure out how to use that function on uh, Google Sheets or Excel. Instead, what you could do is simply load the information into ChatGPT, sort it, and then copy and paste it back into your sheets and save a lot of time in the process. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that uh, using an example of our list of GPTs that we create here at AI Branding Academy. All right, here you can see a bunch of information about uh, some of the GPTs that we create. Uh, and you can see it's it has this thing where you have the, the number of chats. And it says only me, and then it has this plus. So, you know, it, it's helpful to know like, okay, here's how many times it's been used over a certain amount, but it makes it hard to sort. So I want to adjust this column so that the numbers actually are actually numbers that I can sort rather than this mix of text and numbers, which isn't sortable because I just want to know which one's the best uh, or the most used used GPT that we have. So I could, of course, go through and say only me and I'll say zero for those ones and change it all. I could change all the 70s and I could say that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I, Or I could do uh, you know, some kind of text to columns. I could separate this out and do a bunch of Excel stuff. Uh, but what if I just want to adjust everything at once? All I have to do is go ahead and copy all these lines. There we go. Actually, we'll add one there. We'll say zero for that one. All right, so I'm going to copy all these lines, just the ones I need. I'm going to come into ChatGPT. I'm going to say, review the following list of information. Um, I want it to only have numbers rather than numbers and letters, making it hard to sort in Excel. Uh, please change out the... And we'll say, you know, and again, this is just how to do instructions on here. Only me text to zero and any number with a plus after it, please remove. Keep the number of lines the same and the order the same. All right. I'm going to go ahead and paste that and go. And voila, it's done. Well, actually, it's still working. It takes a little bit longer than that. So this is like 100 entries. Now, you might say like, oh, that's silly. I could do that, you know, a million different ways. Yes, you can. Uh, but if you don't want to think very much, you just ask AI what you want. A lot of times, it'll just do it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Come back here, paste, and voila. And you could, you could, if you really worried, like you didn't do it right, you could add another column and go ahead and do it like that. Paste it. And done. And that's all it took. So now when I go to see my chats and I want to see, you know, which ones did the best, it will now sort it correctly rather than sorting it by alphabetical order because I mix text and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, text and numbers with that. So it, it's that easy. Uh, and you can see this isn't some complicated use of AI, but it's very helpful. Um, I could do other things too. Uh, you know, let's say these, I don't want to have, you know, AI branding. And of course I could do the same thing. I could separate it all out. I could do all that stuff. Or I could just go ahead and copy the list and say, uh, please uh, review this list and remove the AI branding colon from each title. And again, yeah, I can do this a bunch of different ways, but in this case, I don't have to think very hard. All I have to do is copy this now, come back in here. And again, now I could sort this list better because it has uh, the actual names and it won't be you know, doing it by AI branding. And, and you can see there's a bunch of AI branding in there, so I could replace the whole list with that. And now I have something that I could uh, make alphabetical a lot easier.
All right, so super simple tutorial today, uh, but still very powerful. And and you'd be shocked at how useful this is. And maybe uh, if you start thinking about, hey, where am I wasting time? You'll find that this might be a big area. And yes, it might only be 10, 15, 20 minutes a day, but add that up over time. And now you're sa saving hours, maybe hundreds of hours every single year on things that you didn't have to do work very hard for. So go and try it out and let me know how it goes.